approximating dynamic global illumination in image space. Ambient occlusion computed in image space is a simple and effective method to improve real-time rendered images. It works best for shadows of mesostructures, geometric details that are small yet too big to be represented by a texture or bump map. The present work shows how ambient occlusion can be generalized to directional occlusion with only a small overhead in computation time. Additionally, one bounce of indirect light can be computed in a similar way, again with only a small overhead. Since implementation effort and runtime overhead is small, our method can be easily integrated into interactive applications like games. Here, we switch between ambient occlusion and directional occlusion. Note how directional occlusion shows natural colored shadows while ambient occlusion can look dull. When the lighting is changing, shadows should react to such a change. However, ambient occlusion remains static and is not affected by lighting. Directional occlusion accounts for changing lighting as seen from the small colored shadows inside the mesostructure. For this reason, ambient occlusion often looks more like reflectance, like dirt not reacting to illumination change that covers the surface. We can include one indirect bounce of light. In this example, a bright light from the side bounces from the colored cubes onto the ground. Ambient occlusion. Our method. Ambient occlusion again. And our method. Image space occlusion can remove shadow mapping bias. Here, small objects cast shadow, but quantization errors cause many shadow artifacts. Such artifacts are usually resolved by adding a depth bias. However, depth bias results in small gaps between the ground plane and the occluder. Our method can fill this gap in image space in many cases, but a single depth buffer has too many ambiguities to work perfectly for point lights although it is suitable for environment map-like lights. Using a second depth buffer together with depth peeling completely removes the shadow mapping bias. The use of multiple views further improves the visual quality. In this example, a moving light source bounces light to the ground first using a single view and now four views. Note how using multiple views resolves bounces from the occluded blue block. Our technique works completely in image space and does therefore not require a surface mess. Here we show isosurface ray casting of a volumetric dataset of a skull. Working in image space allows the geometry to change freely as we demonstrate using this animated mesostructure of colored cubes. Note how cubes facing direct light cast colored bounces on the ground. Dynamic geometry as in character animation is naturally supported too. The directional occlusion results in colored contact shadows for the horse or indirect light bouncing from the elephant's feet, as seen on the ground plane in this last example. 